news comes first. Very long 10 days. I lost count after the second day. <laughs> so I just want to thank everybody. A heartbreaking discovery in Kachuma Lake. Search crews recover the body of Isaiah Sanchez. Tonight, his relatives open up to News Channel 3. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Beth Farnsworth. And I'm C.J. Ward. The search is over for an Oxnard man who drowned at Lake Kachuma. Uh, we'll have more on that story in just a moment. And we do have News Channel 3 reporter Victoria Sanchez live at the lake. Tori, you spoke with the family right after they received the news. That's right, Beth and CJ, this is a devastating time for the family of 22-year-old Isaiah Sanchez, but they say now that he has been found, they could start healing. I did speak with the fishermen who found his body this afternoon, and they say they are glad they could, that they can help, help them grieve. It's good to be here um, at this moment, you know, now we can move on and, uh, you know, family can find some rest and, and peace and not have to worry about uh, Isaiah not being found. After 10 days in the water, Isaiah Sanchez is found. Isaiah's mother's boyfriend, along with nearly 60 other family members, have been scouring the lake for the 22-year-old. Yeah, for me it is closure. Um, we've still got to deal with the mom, so hopefully she, uh, she doesn't really break down. A fisherman spotted the body around noon Monday. Park rangers, sheriff's deputies, a helicopter, and a dive team searched in the water and land, but there was no sign of Sanchez for a week and a half. When the body was brought to shore, the family surrounded the coroner's van and said a prayer. Family is important. I mean, I, I can't express how much family and friendship, uh, how important that is in a situation like this. Uh, it's it's. The love, the expression of support is tremendous. Munoz says that support will help them overcome the sadness. The family wanted to reiterate just how thankful they are to everyone who helped search for Isaiah from people from visitors, deputies and park rangers. There is a memorial fund being set up at Robo Bank to help pay for the 22 year old funeral. For more information on that, you can log on to our website, KEYT.com. Live at Chuma Lake, Victoria Sanchez, News Channel 3.